Well, hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire, your home of burning and learning. I am Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist, and I'm joined with Hubby. Yep. And today we are doing the main cliff. We're going to start putting in some details, and hopefully people will start joining us. So I am going to go ahead and get started. I may have to repeat myself once people come in. The camera's hot. Alright, I think we're going to go ahead and get started. Kind of angle it so everybody can see. I think you know we're gonna go up top first because that'll help break it up from the side. Alrighty. So I'm gonna use the 18s. Ooh, turn down that heat. Go to three. Somebody's watching. You. No, there's three. Oh. <laughs> well, hello, whoever's watching. Oh, it's Lucifer. Well, <laughs> it <was> Moritz. <laughs> Moritz. Alrighty, so we are going to start here at the top. Now, I'm going to go ahead and have my reference photo right next to me. Oh, bro. Hey, bro. So that we can oh, wow. okay. make sure. And what I'm going to do is use this side of my pen. I may have to go in. Feels Feeling too sick. What did I do? We'll do this with the camera. It's going to be a little more upright for you guys, even though it's sideways for me. Alrighty. So we got crevices, so we're going to put in some crevices. It totally is going to feel weird to start with because there's nothing else in. And then from the crevice, I'm going to do, using the tip, burning outwards. Karen's Smith is here. Hey, Karen. And I'm going to go up and down to follow the direction of the cliff as well as getting some texture into the rock. Now we do want this the darkest. So I need to make sure I know more of this. I do that. It kind of curves off. Now if you're doing a rectangle you're going to have more of the cliff than I am. And that's only because of how I um, altered the photo for this circle. So just follow your photo. Yeah, Burl's been sending me a bunch of photos before the live so I could pick a bear. Pick a bear. He's got a couple of photos that it looks like a old man standing on, on the river going, Get off my water! To the people. It's cute. We're just going, we don't want this smooth because rocks in this case, this cliff is not smooth. And if we kind of put a crack in the wrong place, not a big deal. I think that is the beauty of it. I'm gonna try to do this better. That's the beauty of this piece. You really can't screw it up. Even if you put something in the wrong place, you really can't screw it up. And I think that should help because it's still going to look like the Grand Canyon. There's, aspects of the canyon itself that makes it stand out and identifiable. So here we have a rock that's actually coming out right here and so we're seeing one face this way and one face this way. So we need to pay attention because it's curving into just like the rest of the area they curve. So we need to make sure we get that curve right. That's going to make a big difference. So where it's curving in, it's going to have, it's going to be a little darker because there's not light hitting it. So we're just going to use the tip. I'm on three. Just drag down and fill in. I did put in my big cracks and then I can put in little cracks wherever I feel like it. Like right here, we do have some cracks, but I didn't put on the pattern or I didn't transfer it on the pattern. So we're just going to kind of put some in there and then we need to go across the rock because that's how the texture is and it kind of goes up because we got strata going along these cliffs. We need to keep that strata. So Jerking where it indents but see we need to go darker than we got over here. 
in order to separate give us the feeling of this being closer and more detailed. And what I can do, let's see, right here, I don't have my bigger photo. This right here, actually I don't think it's part of the wall. So I'm going to just, for now, block it in. I can detail it later because this wall does go up. Um, Jamel Williams is here. Well, hello, Jamel. Just bought the off of Jamel. As per your Yay. review, could not be happier with my purchase. Oh, I'm glad. And I was worried. Oh, and Hill can talk. I don't know. Hill can talk. Oh, the Frank comment? Pat. Uh oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. He is a talker. And Carmen Poitier. Hey, Carmen. Awesome. But he gives you so much useful information that you won't get anywhere else. He has the burner wisdom. Is that what we should call it? Burn. Burner wisdom. So remember, my, my board is angled, even though it looks right for you guys. My board is, this is correct <laughs> for me. I'm angled in order to make sure I'm going in the right direction. Just using the tip and kind of dragging across for the darker and then we've got a lighter rock here. Kind of goes over and it's going to look different once we get rid of some of the graphite but I need to block in enough to know what's going on. Let's see we got some little and I can always go back with the skew and put in some of the thinner um, cliff lines. The cracks. That's the word I want. Cracks. You see right now, this area, reference wise, this area needs to be darker than this area because it's got a shadow in the back. So we got to pay attention to that. Bring this crack up. Luckily, we don't have to be perfect. So I think everybody can do this and be happy with their final results. So that is important to feel like they accomplished it. Mm. Valerie showed me um, the dragons that are in group. Yeah, from people. I clicked on the post topic so he could see everybody's. Very impressive. Like, yeah. I, I, Really, really cool. So I'm gonna angle down, and I can always cut in later for that sharper line. What I'm gonna do is erase some of this graphite so I can see. But I actually, in order to keep from throwing myself off, I'm gonna bump up to four and darken this shadow back here. That way we can see. And the reason I have to bump up to four is because it's already a burned area. So let's get the shadow in. in. Barrel needs more coffee. Don't we all? Mm -hmm. see. Yeah, I need I would need my regular reference up on the monitor to tell what's happening here. So what I'm going to do is just pay attention to the shapes, not stress if it's not exact. Put these in here to separate. This area is lighter. And see, in going darker like this, this is going to force everything else darker along the way. And that's what I'm talking about on balancing and why I don't finish everything all at once like I didn't I wouldn't want to go black here even though it may be really dark because if I go too dark I, I have no room to move my values I'm stuck but if I go at least halfway when I'm blocking in then I have all of this other room to adjust so I just lowered my heat a little bit let it cool off for a second, but I can use the heat that's already here. On my 
right tip and we're going to come down this is a big crack so we want to make sure we follow and it's not only a crack but it's an outcropping of the rocks so this side is kind of shading that edge of the outcrop let's see here and this one comes up so I'll go darker and actually I'm a little off on what is what but guess what you wouldn't know it if I didn't tell you no stress and I saw somebody in group today saying that this year she's been nervous about messing up she's been burning a couple of years but um, what she's saying is she's paying more attention to what she, how she wants the final piece to look so she's stressing more and it used to be relaxing for her on the whole what if I mess up what is the worst that can possibly happen if you mess up what is the worst thing that's going to happen if you have to if you mess up a piece in your head down I'm waiting to see if anybody says anything okay. and then I shall answer Let's put give, give them a minute yeah when Carmen says you make it look so easy, often I get lost when looking at my picture and then I back to the bar. get lost all the time. That's why the photo's right here next to my hand. <laughs> because then all I have to do is this with my eyes versus stopping and looking up at my monitor. So when possible, I try to have the reference right next to me. And then it's a little easier. And if you feel you're constantly getting lost, then maybe try adjusting your pattern, either more lines or less lines. Because sometimes we put too many lines and is, we get overwhelmed and lost. That's why I didn't transfer as many of the lines as I created in the pattern for this. But we all get lost. We all get lost. And this camera is right in my face. I'm going to lower this and then twirl my board a little bit more like this so it's on camera still. There we go. So you guys can still see. And I can even kind of do this. So it still looks a little more right for you. Even though we're all sideways in the world. <laughs> oh, so let's rename the peak and call it an original. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> there is. N oh, so what I was saying, and I, I need to talk to her uh, off camera. She's not here right now but we all mess up those oopses are actually very very helpful in learning and to learn quicker because once you've messed up something and you have to figure out how to fix it once you fix it the stress is gone because you're like oh I can fix it so if I screw up it's not the end of the world I can fix it everybody messes up and move on and maybe how you fix it might be what you you like better about the piece mistakes are not bad now yes they can be frustrating I still have my swirling vortex above my head cuss words because I get plenty ticked off but once I'm done being ticked off I gather myself and go okay I know I can fix it it's a pain it's time consuming, but I can do it. And this is supposed to be fun and relaxing and enjoyable. So if you're stressing about it, maybe try a piece that you feel more comfortable with. Not Don't stay there, but just something that will help you to get your confidence back and then move on to the next piece. Sometimes we need an ego boost. Again, nothing wrong with that. No. I got more sheeting here. I gotta make sure I do. Andrea Tolera is here. Hey, Andrea. So don't stress. We all mess up. We all have things that don't come out the way we had in our head. 
And it's even worse if you're a perfectionist. I appreciate those who aren't. Sometimes a little jealous. So here I'm just putting in the shadows. Remember, it's going to look off until everything else is in and balanced. We will stay in the ugly stage. <laughs> so we're not there anymore. And there's things about this that I know I've messed up on, and, and it's okay. I've never burned the Grand Canyon before. In fact, this is my first full landscape ever. I don't tend to do landscapes. See, even here is not showing that I need to go even darker. So I'll go back and redefine this cliff edge by darkening up my shadow here, separating the two. You see, we have this line coming down, which I don't know what it's trying to be. So I am just going to get rid of it. That was an artistic choice right there. Is the information necessary? If I don't put it in, how much does it change the piece? Yeah, so we get a little lighter in here, and I haven't adjusted my temperature. We do have, see we have this, and then it kind of goes off. So I'm wondering if this is the cliff face that's going up. And see here I would have my photo open in Photoshop up on my monitor so I could zoom in really close to separate the details. But I can't do that right now. So I'm just going to fill it in and decide what to do with it later. Now we can get rid of more graphite. So we're going to come back over here. So over here, there's a lot of places that have um, some places that are indented, and some places that are raised. So we need to make sure to include those without harsh lines and then it will feel like it's poking out. So here, this is coming out, this is facing <coughs> this way. So what we've got here, I'm going to touch down in a dark place. That way, if it darkens a little bit more, you see I've, I've gone real dark in there. Nobody's going to notice stress about it and then I'm going to come across make sure I watch the angle of how my tip is moving and right now it looks really dark once other stuff is in it will push back and look lighter and some of it is darker Jay Wells is here hey Jay cut this in, kind of get our separation. So if you were doing, say, a pyramid you would, or a temple that has stacked rocks like this, it'd be very similar. And you would cut in the same way. So I need to ask the group for the bear for next month, which is next week. Do you want a standing bear or a bear on all fours? Because Burl's got both photos. And since Burl and I are picking the photo, I at least like to know what kind <coughs> people would like to do. Alright, so we got this coming down. Teresa uh, Luke Singer is here. Hey, Teresa. See, right now, this is going to throw me off a little bit, and I'll tell you why. Because it looks outlined, but because of how the rocks are, they are kind of outlined. So it kind of throws me off because well, it's different. It's almost because of the cracks patterns. Yep. It's almost like bricks in a wall. Yep. So you're seeing the, the outlines or the dark contrast of the cracks against the rock. Yeah. This needs to go darker, and let's 
trying to get at least the shape of the shadow close because that shadow is what's giving not only the crack is giving the definition of the rock but also the shadow shadows in contrast are our friend Looks like there's a little one that comes over here hmm. um. Carmen says, in regards to the bear, she'd like to see the photos first. And um, I'll be picking the photo on that one with Burl. Burl says, Carmen, I have about a thousand Yeah, the, 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 <laughs> we are not going to, we're not going to be posting all the photos. Yes, I will pick a photo that has a lot of learning to it and whatnot. And people can choose to do it or not. Burls are being very kind and letting us use one of her photos, which gives us options that we don't normally have. So I'm definitely letting Burl give us input on that. We just need to know standing on twos or down on all four. That's all. And I've done quite a few bears, so I still haven't finished the big bear in the back. The cub. Hmm. Get that down. Yeah, let's get that down. So I'm just trying to. You could use any of your shaders for this. Um, your ball tips, but your ball tips may give you a little more texture than you want, but that's totally up to you. Let's see here, how am I doing this line? I'm trying to follow it. I think we're just going to extend the cliff a little bit, which means this is going to go in the back. See, another choice. Now, when you look at this, you won't be able to tell that, that I made that choice. Oops. Curve in the right direction. Cross, just dragging real quick, just so I can have some. What this is are the little divots that the rain makes, the water erosion makes as it's coming down. So we don't have to sit there and um, put in every one. But if we make sure we have the feeling of it, then people will know what it is. Yeah, Burl just has too many photos for us to sit there and post them all. So. Put this rock in. Again, we can go back and darken other areas so that as we go, and build it up. This is not going to be the full darkness. So just putting those little curves in allows us to see that this rock is at a different angle. Putting in some of the darker ones. And it's just a matter of going back and forth, back and forth. That's why I've jumped around so much on this piece is sometimes your brain needs a break. Sometimes it's too much in one area. So I put that really dark. This one has two lines. And I can go back with the 12 or the 17 in a skew and go back in and put some more of the cracks a little finer so that it comes out. We can drag across because we have layers. I'm not being perfect. Just sketching them in. I didn't even draw them all in on the pattern. Party truck. So we'll do this. Down a little bit. Are you making some really good progress? Oh, I, w I want them to be able to see. 
<coughs> an area that's more blocked in. Yeah. So I'm trying to go fast. Here we got. This is the side of the cliff, a uh, rock, because it's curving out. So this side's darker and it has texture. So we're just going to quickly tap it in. Yeah, like I said, th that's the beauty of this. Nothing has to be perfect. If you get lost, it's not going to hurt anything. I actually had this on the other side, had to sit and draw in some of the lines because I kind of got lost a little bit. Let's see, this is down here. Um, I can go back in with a thinner skew. Get some more of these lines. If that goes that way. We got some darker shadow here. It pushes this out. So let's get that in there. is actually lighter than this back part here. This part here is darker. Let's get some darks in here. I can't tell from my Sephia photo which part, if it's part of the background or if it's part of the foreground. But what it is doing is shaping the cliff. And I'll turn the I'll turn it up right here in a few, so my brain can see it as well. Sometimes it gets to see. I will on Burl's Bear. I won't be releasing my pattern. No, we get, no because I think it would be a good one for people to learn how to to do theirs. Oh, okay. Learn what information that they're they feel they need. Well, that's a big part of the process. It is. Because if somebody's always drawing your patterns, well, you are kind of doing their art. If you do your pattern, you're doing your art, even if it's the same photo. Yeah, and I think it's good too because, you know, some people might want more mm -hmm. information in their pattern, and some people might want less. They want to um, if they just need those landmarks or if they even want to like alter it yeah. you know. I have offered my pattern to Burl because she is allowing us to use her, her photo yeah. but I think even Burl wants to do her own pattern so that the information that she puts into it makes sense to her yeah. and it's just good practice because that way when you get used to making your own patterns when you look at a photo it won't feel as intimidating because you're like, okay, I got this, I can do it. It's all about building up your your confidence, and in order to do that, you got to practice your skills. Yeah. And if you screw up, who cares? Who cares? Well, you know, and that's just as much for me as everybody else. The, the like you said, the screw ups that you have. I mean, there's. I think that there's a, I'm sure that this is the same in pyrography, even though it's less forgiving than painting. Um, but, you know, if you, if you make a mark somewhere that you don't want to make, you know, you can recover from that. And, you know, it's just a matter of, like, do you need to fix it? Or does it become a feature? Or is it even an issue? Because a lot of times, um, we might make a mark or something and it turns out to be uh, you know something that you know because you're aware of the reference and what you're trying to go for you know maybe you slipped or something like that um, but the viewer is not going to notice that because you know they don't know to look for you know, they don't know what to look for and sometimes it can be you know kind of cool to um, have that variation in there. So if you do make a mistake, you know, I would say, you know, first and foremost, does, is it a mistake or is it a feature? 
you know, and and then go from there. But I mean, if it's something that you absolutely have to correct, then you also learn, like you said, the process of correcting it. You know, do you work around it and integrate it into the piece, or do you have to, you know, do you need to sand down? You know, these are choices that you have to learn to make. So, says the guy who doesn't do pyrography, but it's applicable in painting, right? Oh yeah. Up with them on all the arts. Yep. I'm actually trying to darken this area back here to see what I need to do here. Girl says I want to do my own pattern. Okay. She went to do the pattern from the Grand Canyon and went to trace it, but when she looked at it, it didn't make sense to her. You know, totally understand. And that's true because, like, mm -hmm. what if you and I can do to do the same thing if we're doing a portrait, and we are going to put down, you know, when we tra when we transfer, um, you know, the image to whatever, I'm doing the canvas and you're doing to wood, we're going to have completely yep. different visual information. You know, I can't necessarily work off of Valerie's because um, my landmarks that I use have a lot to do with, um, you know, the position of major features and then, like, I mark out pretty much just the dark shadows of things and so I would I would get lost in, in um, something that, that you've mm -hmm. done and you would probably be frustrated by my lack of information yep. so because I'm a little more um, I have a little bit more tolerance for for mistakes or variation. You as saying I call you don't it. got tolerance for mistakes? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to tell them? No, no, I'm not saying that you're a perfectionist at all. Oh, trust me. There's times I really wish I wasn't. Yeah. But you know, I, I think that what the interesting dynamic about our relationship as artists is that you've taught me to be more specific and pay more attention, which has benefited my art. Yeah, I, I don't think I've taught you to be less. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Less critical though. Right now I'm just trying to darken so we can see this, so we can decide how far we need to go. Well, Teresa says Grand Canyon will be on her to-do later list. Oh, bear, I have a very long list. With the bear, I, have, I will have my promise to burn for Oh, for her dog. Oh, good. Too much of a snail for three projects at once. You know, nothing wrong with that. Because <laughs> Val has like. I didn't used to be this way. YouTube has one, done that. More than one project at one time. So. Um, I got a whole stack behind me. Mm -hmm. YouTube is that's YouTube's doing in that trying to keep the information interesting. Like the views on the Grand Canyon have dropped dramatically because people are no longer interested or they've gotten what information they need and are done. Yep. The girl says I use more artistic license than some of those. There's nothing wrong with that. And that's why Godzilla yeah. would be in the Grand Canyon. Mecha yeah. Godzilla. Yeah. Yes. I'm trying to see. Fighting Optimus Prime. So this tells me this <laughs> needs to go darker, and I'm ignoring you right now. I just totally. You know, uh, we're I in would, the same room, but I ain't listening. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's a walker suddenly. What's going on? I can't. I can't get to you. <laughs> um, Let me try to find. What uh, one exercise that I do? I I would say do it as a. Is a drawing an exercise with graphite or charcoal? Oh, absolutely. Not on the burning, but one exercise that I do do, and I was <laughs> trying to do say that any other way, but didn't didn't, ha didn't happen. Is um, you did. I'll work on something, you know, not something overly complicated, but then I'll introduce a random mark into the middle of the composition, and then I work around that. Like, how do I? How do I recover that? How do I work around it and integrate that into the composition? That's a really good exercise. What, uh, oh, on drawing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So yeah, you know, I, I can so see that. So it might working. become a tree. You know, if it's hazy and up high enough, it might become a cloud. Yeah. You know, if it's on the edge of the cam cam of the canyon rim, it might become Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> I'm switching over to the 18M. That's just that wall again. What the hell? <laughs> I heard you. I heard you. I broke my artistic license, girl. They won't reissue me another one. Aww. What do you do? Push it out of the bed? Huh? No, no. That's that's. Let's see. Right that's that. that's what some that's what some wives do. Luckily, they don't like you talking about. All right. I told them yesterday. Well, not everybody was with us yesterday. Huh? Like right now, aren't we missing Sheila? Yes, we are. Hmm. And it's summer. Like you ejected me out of the bed. You were being a drama king. It was the perfect you storm of elements. I was on the edge of the bed. It happened. Yes, it did. Alright, I switched to the 18M. I'm still on the same heat setting that I was on. But this burns differently, and that's why I did it. If it's the only one you have, totally use it. Teresa says, nice depth already, Val. Looks very nice. Oh my goodness, we're 10 minutes over. Oh, are we? i just been going. Yeah. i just been going. So, next week, I'm hoping to have all this blocked in so that for Monday and Tuesday, we can focus on detailing it out and seeing what contrast really does to a piece. Let me up this right. All right, I'm going to get seasick again. Woo! Alright. Now it's in my face. So we are starting to get a wall here. I need to not blur this out, but kind of soften it and darken it so that we don't see as much detail. We get some big runoffs, but that's it. And we'll work in that next next Monday and Tuesday. It's just gonna be about detailing and then we're done with this. We're done. Yeah, Spence isn't here either. Hopefully he's being able to be moved. I feel... I don't know what I feel. Anyway, so do we have any questions? I don't know. We'll have to wait 20 to 30 seconds to find out if we have any questions. Oh, it's already warm in here. It's not like, yes, it's not like last night, though. No. Last night was brutal. Yeah, it was. So I'm just going to be continuing what I did here, further down, the blocking these in, and then, oh, and I got to finish blocking this in, and then once these areas are blocked in, then it's going to be time to really start adjusting. Teresa says, whoa, which I, I think she's reacting to it, but it could mean also that she was typing in a ninja got her. <laughs> So, Teresa, if, blink twice if, if you're you, safe. If you're safe, let us know. If you don't answer, Papa Bernadette ninja, up if you're safe. Didn't, a ninja definitely got her. <laughs> so, there's all of this needs to go darker. And Toasties need to mount a rescue mission. I need, I need to get some sleep. Yeah, you do. He didn't sleep well last night, so that's why you're getting. I just realized that the detail part of this is getting cut off, so let's back it up even more. So see, if you were seeing it hanging on the wall, you wouldn't see all the detail. Oh, she says, wow, that was awesome. Oh, thank you. Okay, sure, no ninja, okay. No ninja. So you don't see... Unless she's the ninja. Unless she's the ninja. <sighs> yep. Ooh. All this has got to go darker. I can definitely see that, and this wall's got to go. But once everything's in, then we can balance the piece out. And to get a bear photo chosen and posted this way. Well, can you yeah, send bear. <laughs> bear? Can you send me bear the photo? Because um, have a beer. I'll go ahead and post it and pin it once. Because if I need to adjust or offset, once you say everything's good, then I'll then I'll post the the photo for the group. Um, I'm not going to alter it without your permission and being happy with what the final one is. Alrighty, so two more lives and then we are done. Yeah. Oh, and I started 
negative burning, so the, the trail is starting to show up. Oh, I can see that. You know, it's funny is that if you hadn't pointed it out, I wouldn't see it. But once you pointed it out, I can't not see it. Yeah, and see if I angle it up this way, oh, wow. it's Even actually... Better. See, look how much you darken just yep. camera-wise by me lifting how you'd see it on the wall. But it darkened when you lift it up for me in real life, too. Mm -hmm. And that's just because the camera... The, or, I'm sorry, the lights aren't um, glaring down on the wood and bouncing up to the camera. So I have to stop every so often and do this to give my eyes a break. Well, and see what it is. Alrighty. Well, we'll we'll get that figured out in the next couple of days. Plus, I got a live stream with Burl and Greg this week. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. And hopefully, we go to Arizona tomorrow. We will be masked up and safe. It's the only way we leave the house. Okay. How you leave the house? <laughs> yes, that's how. I how you life. leave the house? Yeah. Alrighty. No more questions. Okay. Well, enjoy the rest of your day, and don't forget, you you didn't do it. You I did was not, thinking about it. But you didn't do it. I was waiting. You think you Good did Good job. It. You passed. <laughs> don't forget, you're awesome. You can do this. Why? Because you're a pyro artist. <laughs> Camera's in my face. Happy birding, guys. Bye. Right in my face.